Since the events of Friday's practice, there have been numerous rumors circulating in NASCAR. Officials expect that Hendricks Motorsports will face the harshest penalty ever imposed. Yet, some believe they may be banned from competing in the Cup Series this season. Hence, what can be concluded? Want to know then? Stay with us till the end of the NASCAR zone to get updated. But before we dive into that, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Officials from NASCAR removed the hood louvers from all four of Hendrick Motorsport Chevrolets while they were competing at Phoenix Raceway. We did, you know, take some parts from the Hendrick cars. It's not uncharted waters, as you guys know. It's been around the sport for many years. Uh, from time to time, we will take parts off cars. Uh, we'll bring them back here to the R&D center. We'll take a deeper dive into them to make sure they're in compliance. And if they're not, then we'll, you know, we'll move forward from there. We're still collecting information on that. Uh, and on the timeline, uh, it was, uh, you know, Friday afternoon, uh, just before practice, I uh, was getting ready to start. And... Uh, we didn't have all the information we needed at the time, so we allowed the teams to go ahead and practice. And once practice was over, uh, then we you know, got with them. Uh, they were very respectful and cordial, and uh, we collected those parts, and um, they replaced them and, and uh, went out and had a, you know, a great weekend. This weekend, the Hendrick vehicles are not subject to any fines, and the results of any investigations into possible penalties will be released the following week. Before Saturday's inspection and in front of Sunday's qualifying, the Hendrick organization has the opportunity to replace the hood louvers. The hood louvers, which are visible on this next Gen 3D model, are apertures or vents in the hood that serve as a release point for ducts that move air out of the radiator. The purpose of the system is to isolate the performance of the engine from the performance of the car's aerodynamics. This will prevent teams from covering their air intakes which puts an unnecessary amount of strain and heat on the engine of the vehicle. Kyle Larson, driving the number 5 Chevrolet for Hendrick Motorsports, posted the quickest lap time during Friday's practice sessions, reaching a speed of 131.258 miles per hour. With the number 48 car, Alex Bauman achieved third place overall with a speed of 130.725 miles per hour. William Byron, who won the race last week, finished in 20th place overall, 129.241 miles per hour. And Josh Berry, who was driving the number 9 car in place of an injured Chase Elliott, finished in 23rd, 128.986 miles per hour. Friday's practice was the first time that NASCAR's new rule package, which will be implemented in 2023 on most short ovals and all road courses, was used. Downforce is reduced by around 30% thanks to the arrangement, which consists of a spoiler that is two inches tall and has fewer strakes underneath the car. But what happens if Hendrix Motorsports faces the penalties? Will it get banned from the NASCAR Cup Series? NASCAR has made it extremely clear to all racing organizations that any modification of a next-gen vehicle component will result in severe penalties. It was made abundantly plain to Hendrick Motorsports that they were not permitted to modify the hood louvers in any manner, even if they were having trouble making them fit properly. Let's examine what the next week may hold for the company. The most favorable outcome for Hendrick Motorsports would be if NASCAR identified something with which they disagree but which is not addressed to the rulebook. It is likely that this situation fits under the gray area category and that the team did not break the rules. In this instance, no penalties would be enforced Instead, Hendrick Motorsports would receive a reprimand to remind them never to behave in this manner again. There is also the possibility that NASCAR will find nothing unlawful, in which case nothing will happen. The worst-case scenario would involve the penalties issued to many teams throughout the previous season. NASCAR has continuously enforced the same three penalties for altering a next-gen part since the beginning of the previous season. The maximum amount of the punishment may be a $100,000 fine, in addition to a 100-point deduction for the driver and the owner, a four-race suspension for the crew chief, and a reduction of 10 playoff points. In the event that NASCAR discovers modifications on all four vehicles, each vehicle may be subject to the previously mentioned penalty. Due to the fact that the season is still early, it would be disastrous for each driver to lose 100 points, 10 playoff slots, 
$100,000, and their crew chiefs for four races. What are your opinions on the potential penalties or punishments that Hendrick Motorsports could face? Tell us in the comments section below. Be sure to hit the bell button and subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates. Now let's move further to Kyle Larson and his reaction to the Louvre saga. Kyle Larson was questioned by the NASCAR reporter for Fox Sports, Bob Pockrass, regarding whether or not the elimination of the Hood Louvers would have an effect on the pace that he had demonstrated. Uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know anything about a race car anyway, so I had to ask what a Louvre was, but uh, <laughs> joking a little bit there. But no, I mean, um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, you worry about potential penalties, I guess, but um, I don't really know what, what was wrong with them. Um, that's not part of my, you know, job is to worry about that. Um, but yeah, so we'll see kind of how next week goes, I guess. I was to say, is there concern about this weekend? Just, you know, no. did he change from what you felt in practice yesterday? To not, a, I mean, I'm just basing off of like what my crew chief kind of talks about and no, we are not concerned at all. While on the other, Jeff Gordon, vice chairman of Hendrick Motorsports, stated that the theft of parts from all four cars on Friday was weighing on our thoughts coming into Sunday. I can tell you it was weighing on all of our minds, you know, coming into today and, and certainly um, will continue. I mean, I, we had some conversations, we we'll continue to have conversations with NASCAR. Um, you know, this is, every situation sort of unique, but this one is a more unique one than I've seen in a while where there's been a lot of communication back and forth on this particular part especially for this racetrack, um, you know, because they did a parity test in the wind tunnel. And so I think it, it really opened up the door for some miscommunication. And, you know, I don't want to go into any further than that, but, um, you know, we uh, will continue to, to just share all the facts and, and, and be transparent with NASCAR as we had so far. Rudy Fugel, the crew chief for Byron gave praise to the organization's attention for the fact that the Hood Louvre concern did not interfere with their preparations for the weekend. Yeah, I mean, we, we have to, it, it's a, a test in mental strength, and that's just what it takes to, to be really good in this series. So we have to, you know, think about what the task is, you know, and we have to focus on this weekend. So that's, that's what we all did. According to Gordon, the fact that the Hendrick cars performed so well in the race was evidence of the might of the organization. Yeah, I just say, you know, I was proud of these guys to go. I mean, this, this this organization has a lot of depth. They've been through a lot of different experiences over the years. And, and you know, to lean on those in, in the, um, you know, in different positions or, or leadership or crew chiefs that have been around so much, you know, whether you're a young guy in this, in, in, on a team or, or somebody who's been around, it's nice to know you can lean on one another through, through you know, times like that. But I'm, uh, I'm probably most proud of these guys went through that and then they went out there and, you know, we had the pole third. You know, the other two guys, you know, were fast. They just slipped up a little bit. But all four cars in the top ten today, uh, I think that, you know, really solidified, you know, some of the, the hype and the, the things that were being focused on on Friday that, that you know, these guys have, have speed in the car and there was nothing, not last week, not this week, that was, you know, um, getting them to victory lane other than a lot of hard work and, and great teamwork. Sanctions for the team will be announced prior to the Am Better Help 400, which will take place at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Until then, we don't know what happens. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Tell us in the comments what you think about the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos on NASCAR updates. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.